All right, peace, Mr. Jamal. So, just came back to my pad, and there's right. critters, roaches. Uh, welcome to New York. Welcome to NYC, right? That's right. Someone said I could get a defogger, and I could defog, and that's going to get the roaches out. Uh, am I wrong, or do I even know? Is that... Yeah, that's funny to me. I had a client come in mentioning defogging. Of course, it's not a thing in regards to exterminating. I'm sure she meant just fumigating with a can, the okay. foggers. Um, I was telling her that, and mind you, it's a you know, neighborhood customer of mine that I'm mm -hmm. familiar with. Her, everybody's tolerance for pests tends to be quite different in sure, the city. Sure, sure, sure. Well, you know, I noticed that you know, some elders have zero tolerance. Some who lived here long enough know, hey, something that can happen occasionally. And then there are others, well, we won't speak on the others. Right. <laughs> okay. uh, that said... We uh, never speak on the others, we don't no matter what we talk about. We <laughs> business, but we're not going to speak on the others who all can right. help us all. all right. um, yeah, I don't... People like uh, to fog, go to Home Depot, pick up a can of Raid or whatever, and or some, some sort of fogger that does supposedly does all the work, put it in the middle of the room, they leave for a few hours, go to the movie, okay. come back. Wait, see, I don't, what is the defogger? What is that? What does that mean? I don't know. No, I, I, I thought I explained No, because I don't know what that means. Like, what is no, the fogger? No, it doesn't mean. It doesn't do That's what I'm saying. I said is, that already. So there's not a it can, like, when I'm thinking defogger, you're going to put a can and then it's going to go out the mist and then all the bugs are You dead. missed everything I said. Okay. The, as it regards exterminating, yep. there is no term that applies for defogging. Ah, I got you. There might be something done in auto or... Okay, okay. So that may But I'm, not spe I'm speaking on exterminating. Okay. I don't, there may be a thing for, but not she misspoke. Okay, so. so what's this thing you have? What is that product you have? So, again, back to fogging, mm. I'm not a fan of it because... Uh, what is you can't, it? You can't rely on a can to do the work for you. So mm. it's just a fogger. They put it in the middle room, press a button, aerates the room with all this pesticide. Or Got you. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Fogger. Okay, right. fogger. So, but it's not nearly as effective to my taste. Okay, which one do you have? Do you have a fogger? I mean, I sell a fogger. I mean, I'll have, you know, even people that come in here asking for foggers, I generally try to assess what their situation is mm -hmm. and even thereafter try to advise against. Okay. You shouldn't be dropping the fogger in the middle of your home where you live and all this. Because I will tell you, most people hardly prepare in the way that you should if you're going to be fumigating. And those words are interchangeable. Okay. Fogging or fumigating. That's right. Those words are interchangeable. So you have like different types of products. Okay. So fogging shouldn't be left to a can. Mm -hmm. Now there's professional applications that we use and we use machines and all that. But let me tell you, even then, we only advise that it's done in areas where people aren't living, likely vacant, addicts of sorts. So yes, the product that if you're going to use a fogger, uh, it should be in areas like that. There are, if they're enclosed in uh, vacant of sorts, basements, attics, okay. crawl spaces, all of those areas. Right. And anything that's vented, vents should be covered and closed mm -hmm. safely uh, so it doesn't seep into other areas. You don't know how and who, what is going to affect what. Okay. But if indeed you're using and doing some sort of do-it-yourself uh, fogging, we have uh, some uh, what we call residual foggers. Now, can you hold that up? Please? Now, the difference with this fogger relative to your standard Home Depot, Dollar Store, Bodega, they got it in the window, this will solve my problem fogger, mm -hmm. has a residual. I believe this one has about a two to three week residual, mm -hmm. meaning even thereafter, the product has been dispersed from be it the middle of the floor or some vacant. Generally, most people are using it at home that they sleep and eat in. Uh, that product, even after it dries, is still active and working. Mm -hmm. Most of the foggers that you buy are similar to just a roach can. You just pretty much let roach spray just fly all over the air and the host that. Now, this doesn't say that it doesn't get any results, mm -hmm. but how can you trust a can? to get up in the corner, say, behind the cabinet. Okay. You know it's going to go there? You know yeah. it's going to get in there? Because no. guess what? No. The roaches are coming out of there, sure. likely. Sure. Or at least they're aware that's the place to go. Right. And maybe they ran to that spot mm. after the fogger came on knowing it was safe there. Yeah. So the residual fogger, again, because even after the product is finished dispersing and it dries, it's still active and working. That may help a little bit better. But again, I right. only recommend that for vacant areas. It shouldn't be where people are sleeping nor eating or living for that matter. All right, so that's one approach 
But then there's another kind of approach that you have for like roaches. Um, what's the other kind of approach? Okay, so you can either, other options you can do in regards to doing it yourself, you can seek to do something manually mm -hmm. with uh, a good uh, roach product, or even do the baiting system. Uh, we sell a few roach gels uh, here, or even bait stations. The difference being uh, bait stations and gel bait tend to take a little longer before you see results. Mm -hmm. However, I like to say you have longer lasting results. Mm. Uh, sometimes the difficulty in be selling it anyway, we always apply it to any of our entities that we service. Mm. But uh, people want results right away. It's not going to happen with the gel baiting system. But mm. if you're patient and you're doing all you need to do sanitary wise and maintaining your home mm -hmm. to not attract any, it'll have longer lasting results because they're attracted to the bait, they eat the bait, or actually they travel with the bait back to the colony and pretty much do the work for you and kill all the rest. That's now, great. That's good. Now, can you use both of them at the same? Should you use both of them at you the same time? Should not use both at the same time. Great question, Claude. Now, yeah, you let's keep not. listening again. You're saying don't use like the roach bait and don't use the that even in the most fundamental level, like don't use a roach motel, and then don't use the spray. Right, right. That's yeah, you want to make really yeah, yeah. You should not. Why? They work differently. Thank so you. baits and things to lure the insects are to attract them. Those sprays and pesticides repel them, kill them, but it repels them. I mean, they, you know, they don't smell, but when they sense this area sprayed, you've never seen a roach run into the raid. Yeah. It's repelled by it. It runs away from it. That's mm. why the gels are generally soft, sticky, sweet smelling, mm. all of that. They're attracted to that, and therein the poison is there and takes it back to the rest of the family, if you will, and kills off the rest. So that generally is a long-term, more effective uh, service. That is to say, if you have a moderate uh, kind of problem, if you got an infestation and roaches all over, it's not to say the gel baiting wouldn't work, but yeah, you probably now want to employ some heavier artillery manually first, not the fogging thing, again, not if it's va not vacant. You'll go in manually with the, you know your sprays. Here's one uh, that we sell over the counter, uh, the super permicide. <clears throat> okay, super permicide. Yeah. It uh, is an oil-based, it has an oil-based residual, uh, meaning after you apply it, it's still, this one is still active and working for up to four weeks. Mm. So that means after you've hit all your corners and target areas within your kitchen cabinets and bathroom areas, obviously where they harbor and breed, uh, that you would uh, allow it to dry and roaches are not only not going to cross through that area, but if they do, they'll die. And it may bring a few out as well, but bring them out to die. So, yeah, those are a, num those are a number of the ways that you can seek to eradicate roaches. The main one being maintaining your home.